Dang. That's better. Oh. Welcome back to our channel where we dive into the world of movies and TV shows to uncover hidden details you might have missed. In today's video, we're taking a closer look at the latest trailer for the highly anticipated fantasy series Elemental and revealing some tiny but important details that you might have overlooked. <laughs> Elemental looks like it's gonna be one of the most famous Pixar movies of this decade, especially because its story is so original and seems so good and new. Elemental will have amazing scenes that will teach us important lessons about life, action-packed scenes that will probably make us enjoy the whole movie, and a storyline with a lot of moral layers that will teach us a lot of important lessons about life. Just like Pixar always does, based on the official trailer, Elemental will be a great movie where we see a wonderful world full of the most amazing and interesting characters. There are characters who represent the basic elements of Earth, like fire, water, and Earth, in a way that you can tell it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch just by looking at the trailer. But you guys have missed a lot of secrets in the official trailer for Pixar's Elemental. So let's get right into the secrets you might have missed of the official trailer for Pixar's Elemental. My dad would boil you alive. Why does anyone get to tell you what you can do in your life? When the doors to the Elemental world open in such an epic and amazing way at the beginning of the trailer, we see a lot of elements, and the clouds are one of the things we see flying around. The oxygen in the air is represented by the clouds in such a funny way, we also see one character of this element get poofed by a car that was passing by on the road. As we can see, the way the clouds are made is very unique and it looks like a lot of fun. Considering that Pixar has decided to use a new style for the Elemental movie which mixes animated characters with a background that looks very real and makes it very interesting to watch. Watch. Right here we can see the difference. The clouds are the same and the way they look is hypnotic. But these clouds just don't happen. They are a secret reference to The Partly Cloudy, a short film by Pixar that came out May 29, 2009. It tells the story of Gus, the lonely cloud who makes babies of different kinds of animals and sends them all over the world with his friend Peck. But as they become friends, things get messy between them and Peck has to figure out how to deal with Gus's short temper and still do his job. This short isn't very well known, but Pixar always uses characters from their shorts in their own movies. So this isn't the first time they've done it, and it's easy to figure out what it's about. <laughs> oh. The official trailer shows that Wade, who represents the water element, will be the second main character in the movie. He does a great job because he acts like you think water would act if it were alive. He's silly, easygoing, and adventurous to the point when he gets to meet Ember, who represents the fire element. He takes her out of her comfort zone and shows her the world where he lives. This shows their parents and the whole city of Elemental that a law of element attraction can be broken in a special situation. Wade seems like a great guy and we're gonna have a lot of fun watching him, but we know that Pixar always hides easter eggs of their characters in the movies they've already made. And Elemental's no different. In the scene from the movie Lightyear, which came out last year, Buzz uses a food or bottle dispenser to fill himself up before going on a space mission. And if we look closely at the labels, we can see that it's called Wade Water. And right next to it, we can see a sketch of Wade, the main character of this amazing low-com movie, waving his hand in the air just like the logo. This is a secret you probably didn't notice in the Elemental trailer. Elements cannot mix! In the official trailer, right when Amber is walking through the train and we see the various elements for the first time as they go about their silly lives, as I said, we see a lot of things. But there's also a cloud that comes into the train in the same scene. As she walks inside, we can see everything in the background and then she sits on top of the train instead of in one of the seats. Now, if we were to look right at this scene, we can see a promotional sign that says periodic. Well, this is a reference to the periodic table, which is an important part of this movie because it shows how all the chemical elements in our universe are usually put together. We can see the periodic table in the movie. Helium, which is a chemical element, is written on a traffic sign at the beginning of the trailer, as there are a lot of other chemical elements that exist in this world. It's important to the plot of the movie, and they couldn't make it without mentioning this. So this is why we hear about it on the train. Usually has their head in the clouds. Oh, my 
my new jacket. At the beginning of the trailer, as we've already told you, when the incredible door to the elemental world opens, we can see how big and colorful the whole universe is. Then we see everyone in elemental going to some kind of match. In the elemental world, it's clear that these matches are very popular and have a lot of fans. At the end of the trailer, Wade turns into a water wave and soaks everyone in the stadium who is watching the match. But we still don't know anything about this sport or the event that takes place in the stadium. It's still very hard to figure out, but in the scene after this one, we see the inside of the stadium and a bunch of clouds flying around, which represents the air element. And if we look closely at the bottom left of this shot, we can see a sign that says H2O right here. Well, this is a nod to the element H2O and a play on words. H2O is a chemical formula for water, which is what Wade, the main character, stands for. It is a mixture of the chemicals hydrogen and oxygen made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So H2O is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. This shop is dream of our family. Someday it'll all be yours. As of right now, we still don't know a very important part of the movie, and it doesn't show up in the official trailer. And that is the year in which the movie will be set. We don't know what year the movie's gonna take place or what time period it's gonna be set in. You could say that since it's a fictional story, there doesn't have to be a date. But that's not quite right. We know that there have been a lot of movies that take place in made-up worlds, but they still have a date or year. But we don't know anything about this movie, and we don't know when it's gonna be set right? Well, in the second 29 seconds of the trailer, when Ember is riding her motorcycle through the city during a party, we can see the year 1983 written on front of a restaurant. So it's possible that this is the year when the movie takes place. Since Pixar's last movies were about the future, it would actually make a lot of sense. It would be the first time in a long time that a movie was made up in the world of the 80s. Also in 83, John, one of the three people who started Pixar Animation Studios, was fired from Disney. He then met Ed Kettle, the other founding father of Pixar, and was hired by him to work at Lucasfilm. The company would later become Pixar, and this is really a jab at Disney for firing him that year from the people who made Pixar. Marco! And that is it for a breakdown of the tiny details you might have missed in the second trailer for Elemental, from subtle hints about character motivations to clues about the film's larger themes, it's clear that this movie is going to be packed with intricate storytelling and visual delights. But of course, these are just our own interpretations, and we'd love to hear what you noticed in the trailer that we might have actually missed. Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more movie news, reviews, and breakdowns. Thanks for watching. You see? He likes it! <laughs> <laughs>